Hi, today I want to show you JS Obj. It's a helper abstraction for working with JavaScript in pure data. It's a simple wrapper around PDJS by mgans that integrates with your text editor. So I've got PD open here and I've saved this patch as test.pd. Before you use JS Obj, you have to save your patch. That's because it creates the JavaScript object in the same folder. So I'll go ahead and create a JS Obj instance. JS Obj hello.js. As you can see, JS Obj creates hello.js if it doesn't exist for the first time. It'll save it into the same folder as the main patch. It also opens the file for you using whatever text editor you have configured. You can see this edit button here. If the file is closed, you can just click edit to open the file again. The JavaScript file contains a sensible boilerplate with most of the functions and examples you might need. And the final feature to make note of is this live reload button here. As you modify and save code in the editor, it gets reloaded every half second and updates in the object itself. So let's take a look at how this works. Under the hood, it's the same as PDJS. You name functions after the thing that you want to process. Here I've added a message foo abc, and I'll print the output. You can see here the function foo. All it does is send to the outlet foo called with and the arguments. So the arguments will be abc in this case. And if we click the message box, we see output foo called with abc. So the script has sent to the outlet and that's been printed here. You can also post messages directly with post. There you go, you can see the output here. Documentation for PDJS itself is available on the GitHub, github.com slash mgans slash PDJS. PDJS is designed after the Max's JS object, so the documentation for that is useful as well. Not everything is implemented, but most of the important stuff is, and you can get more detail from the Max documentation. JS Obj is available on Deacon, so you could search for it under Find Externals and install it from there. So far, it's only been tested on Linux. It depends on GG Shell to invoke the editor. I think it should be possible to get it working on macOS and maybe even Windows, but for now, I've only tested on Linux. Of course, pull requests and patches are welcome. So that's JS Obj. I hope it helps you integrate JavaScript with your PD patches. And uh, thanks for watching.